Deep Sea Am is one of the leading technical diving centers in Eilat today. Here you can find all that your heart desires, basic and advanced technical diving, and also trimix and advanced trimix diving. In the past few years, Deep Sea Am has been the leading dive center in Israel, dealing with closed circuit rebreathers, also known as CCR. We did our rebreather course here in Deep Sea Am. Huh? Elon was our guide. Um, We fell in love with the rebreathers and decided to buy ourselves. So yeah, it's, it's a different world because it's not even close to open circuit about uh, balance and breathing. The feeling is very different and you need to learn how to dive from the beginning. CCR is a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus as is the scuba that divers are more familiar with but it recirculates the gas. The rebreather recirculates our breath, scrubs that poisonous carbon dioxide out, supplements the oxygen left in our exhaled breath by adding more, giving us the ability to rebreathe the remaining oxygen in our exhaled breath rather than wasting it. Uh, as a trimix diver, this, uh, the CCR subject comes up pretty often. Uh, it's, it seems to be a good solution for, for uh, if you want to do long dives, long deep dives. Um, I can't enjoy the open circuit yet. I, I think that I haven't uh, really uh, pushed the limits with the open circuit yet, so I'm not really, really ready to move on to the CCR. But uh, it's very interesting. to see the, the, how the technology had, uh, advanced for, through the years. And I think basically one day I'll, I'll go dive uh, with the CCRs, but not yet anyway. Uh, most of the time I'm doing the open water, all kinds of open water dives. I'm ready for two years now, two and a half years using the CCR inspiration. I have been diving since uh, 1971. Got into technical diving at uh, the beginning of this century and started the uh, diving rebreathers at uh, the end of 2006. In December 2008, Phil Short, a CCR instructor and professional cave diver, arrived to Deep Siam and Eilat in order to teach a course on the Sentinel CCR system. Teaching um, is my job, but um, for anyone who's involved in the diving industry, it's not the best job if you want to make your fortune. So I do it because I love doing it. Now, after 20 years of teaching professionally, I probably get as much, if not more, enjoyment from the actual teaching, sharing the information with others, seeing their willingness to, le- to learn and to evolve and to grow. As I do from just the basic diving. And Phil is, uh, is a very experienced uh, cave diver and CCR diver. He's the test pilot for this system and was part of the design team. So it made him a very natural selection to do the course and being, being that he has so much experience. Um, the people here are incredibly friendly and very uh, helpful in what we're trying to achieve. Teaching here has been easy. I've not had to worry about the logistics. I've been able to just get on with my job, which is teaching. Phil has been leading a continuing cave exploration project in the Ural Mountains in Russia. During his time at Deep Siam, he presented some of the most extreme cave diving he's done in the past few years. Some people say, oh, cave diving isn't that one of the most dangerous sports. Are you an adrenaline junkie? And the answer to that would be the exact opposite. No. The exact opposite to an adrenaline junkie could be described, I suppose, as a control freak. It's if your heart rate goes up, if your breathing rate goes up, which is what tends to happen on adrenaline sports, you're in trouble in a cave diving or even just a diving environment. The objective in cave diving, exploration, deep wreck diving is to stay calm, level-headed, slow breathing rate, slow heart rate, in control of all things that are going on around you at all times. The cave uh, lecture was really fascinating. I really enjoyed that one, and the whole evening was great. I enjoyed it very much. Well, I think it's a bit crazy because uh, the part with the avalanche where they said, well, there was an avalanche at 70 meters below, and okay, what am I going to do now? I'm going to do another avalanche, let's see if I'm getting out. The main thing that went through my head is why? <laughs> why doing it to yourself? 
I've heard about cave diving, but I didn't see it so close to me with a guy so experienced and so much interesting places that I was overwhelmed. I think he's crazy, basically. Uh, he, he, he's doing the, some, of, some of the stuff that uh, most of us guys uh, only dream about. And uh, it seems that uh, Phil really knows what he's doing. And I hope that one day I'll, I can join up with him and do a dive or two. We want to thank uh, Deep Siam and uh, Phil Short about uh, all uh, this weekend. Uh, it was very interesting. We really enjoyed the company, all the technical divers that came here, all the cool secret uh, the breathers that Diamond. were here, um, which was very nice. Uh, do it again soon. Yeah.